if Aragon can defeat Castile here and then slowly unite, they could form Iberia and be a very strong country in Europe. At least the borders are evening out a bit. <laughs> and uh, the it's not going to be as border gory on the border anymore. This war between these two rivals has lasted, I don't even know, I'll have to check the date when the war started. But I, be I believe it's been going on for around 10 years. Most of Serbia's- oh god. Serbia has abandoned the front with Ethiopia and Ethiopia's gonna start taking the Middle East. Ah, welcome back, boys. Uh, good to see ya. This is the first uh, episode that I'm recording that was not in the first recording session. So, so this episode, I actually have all of the support and all of the comments and all of the likes that the series has gotten in my head. I've seen it. I am back from Boston. I went all the way over here. Where is it? Right there. I went there. I live, I live over here, but I went there. And it was a fun trip. I stayed there for a week, so I am going to be uploading three videos a week. Monday, Wednesday, Friday. Um, just this week, I wasn't able to do that because I only brought a couple prepared videos uh, with me. Um, so you'll be getting the Friday upload this week, which is the one you're watching right now. And then next week, it will be back to normal. Monday, Wednesday, Friday. Alright boys, there's a lot to talk about before we start. But the first thing we're going to do is, of course, thank the patrons. Thank you so much, Infinitum Gamer, Abiyar, Infinity Gaming, Boba Fett 13, Jordan X, Call Space, and Cursed Potassium. Thank you so much, guys. I appreciate it. And let's get into the analysis. So, some things that uh, I was not paying attention to. One of the things, Kingdom of Libya has formed, and really, it's actually pretty strong. Um, also, someone pointed out to me, I need to get into Observe. Someone pointed out to me that you know, I haven't played Hearts of Iron in a little while. I'm not super savvy with, like, exactly how the game works. But if I, you know, observe as uh, Libya, I can just look right here. That's how many divisions it has. Because there's not very many other theaters or anything, so I can just check there. Instead of opening up here, going to this tab, then going to this tab, and seeing right there. I can just check right there. So that that's... <laughs> Thank you whoever pointed that out to me. Kingdom of Libya, someone to watch. Um, let's roll through Europe really quick, because there's some stuff out of Europe I really need to show you. Um, Andalusia, of course, uh, probably looking like it's going to be the winner in Iberia. So that is a Spanish state. Um, of course, in Season 1.5, we had a Portuguese state that was the victor. And in Season 1, we had another Spanish state, which was the victor. So we're seeing the Spanish win again. Isle of France, looking strong in France. Of course, France was struggling to unite. Um, now we have Isle of France here um, doing pretty good. That's Paris, so it'll just have its own capital. It doesn't have a flag yet, so it's one of the big ones that doesn't have a flag. Um, Savoy, here of course, boys. Savoy just defeated Switzerland. Um, Veneto was also attacking it, uh, but didn't get any of the cut of the cake. So we were kind of thinking that they might get Eastern Switzerland, but they did not occupy Zurich, so they didn't even end up annexing that state. They're now going after Austria instead. Austria is now in a two-way war with Veneto. And Slovenia. Now, check Slovenia. Didn't realize 37 divisions are Slovenia. Austria is only at 21, so now Austria has to fight off both the Italian army and the Slovenian army. I also checked the casualties. Austria has inflicted about 2,000 more. Uh, I think they've inflicted 14k onto Slovenia, and Slovenia's inflicted 12k onto Austria. Both of those numbers are pretty bad, though, for these countries. They don't have unlimited manpower. Uh, especially Slovenia got 48k, um, but Venice over here, 348, they do not need to worry. I'm I'm thinking Austria will probably end up falling. Another thing I checked though with Veneto is that all that they need to do to reform Italy is two more states, Campania and Calabria, which are these two down here. So they don't even need, don't even need Piedmont and they don't need Sicily. So that could be an easy one to get for them pretty soon. Now, boys, if you're rooting for Franken, 
Um, Franken obviously still very strong. They are in a bad spot right now. Um, the area that they occupy, I'll say Slorain, is uh, cut off because, of course, Savoy annexed Wurdenburg. And now Franken is in a unwinnable position. They cannot really take this territory from... I think this is Luxembourg, actually. It's Alsace. It is not Luxembourg. It is Alsace. Luxembourg's up here. <laughs> I, I was just looking at it. Oh, uh, yeah, this is Alsace. Alsace is at war also with Isle of France, um, but they are holding on. It's going to be a little while before that falls. So, Franken sort of stalled. Also, Pomern sort of stalled as well. Here, that's going to be hard to break for a while. Also, Principality of Wales, a.k.a. Uh, East Midlands, also stalled here. All of our big boys seem to be a little bit stalled, like Greater Albania. They are stalled in Morava, as of current. Also, I did something that I usually don't do. I looked up a pronunciation, just for you guys, <laughs> because I know I have a lot of, of subscribers from like Poland and like Ukraine, so I, I did look up how to pronounce this. I'm still probably going to pronounce it wrong, but I was told that you pronounce the W's more like V's in English, so it'd be like Lvov, uh, closer to that. If that is wrong, still, uh, I'm sorry, there's nothing I can do for you. <laughs> Scandinavia, sadly, is still very split. The biggest things that I could say are happening in Scandinavia is this Norwegian one that's looking pretty strong with three. Um, they have 19 divisions, so they possibly en route to do some good here. Then, of course, over here, Karyala, I think that's how you would say it, from Finland, southern Finland. Um, they are pretty strong, actually. They they are definitely a contender for Russia, uh, which is interesting, because Russia, as you, as you can see, like main Russia right here, west of the Urals, um, looking pretty split still, so not the best for them. Ukraine also looking pretty split, but they do have some strong states. Like they have Belgorod here um, with a pretty strong base, 26 divisions. This guy right north of uh, Crimea with 23. The purple one with <laughs> 48, that's actually really strong. Wow. This one, if you are Ukrainian, they do hold Kiev, so like I said, I think I said before, you could claim that this is like the rightful Ukraine because it holds Kiev, but you could root for some of these other ones, of course. Uh, it, this has 48 divisions. That's probably the one of the biggest I've seen. That It might be bigger than East Midlands. That is tied with East Midlands. Okay, so we have ties. Free State of St. George looking very strong over here with its 24. It's just got a nice, a nice solid border region. You know, it's just nice to see a country with some good borders. <laughs> Izmir, um... Only nine divisions, but they are really trying to sweep up Anatolia before, you know, countries like Bulgaria, Azerbaijan, Syria sweep in and sort of gobble it up. There's not very many. There's only three uh, independent native Anatolian states left, and that is Izmir, Samsun, and Mersin, and they are all being hunted down, except for Izmir, <laughs> and Izmir is definitely lagging behind all its neighbors. Luckily for them, Bulgaria has sort of taken... Uh, right now with Lvov, so they don't really have to worry there. They do have to worry about Kingdom of Syria, though, with 18 divisions and the fact that they are killing off Mersin. Also, Azerbaijan and the fact that they are killing off Samsun. I don't think either of these states will last very long. My boy Guangdong, I'm going to let this start within this run while I, while I still give uh, commentary. Gu my boy Guangdong is starting to lag behind in China. Uh, Zhejiang, Sichuan, Hunan... All these boys to their north. I don't know, man. I don't. I think. I think they're gonna come down. I think Guangdong is gonna get it hard, which sucks. Of course, we're all. We all have our dicks out for Guangdong, of course. But that's just the way it goes sometimes. Mongolia is doing okay still, and then of course this guy I did not notice before, but this Eastern Russian one, um, pretty strong. Twenty three. It's got a solid, uh, solid territory base there, and <laughs> one of uh, a country that you know. I was really tired when I was recording the other videos, so I didn't really pick up on this meme, but you guys definitely picked up on it in the comments. My homie. <laughs> it's Dahomey. And a lot of people are not rooting for Dahomey. And I am happy that you guys are rooting for Dahomey because Dahomey is my homie, and Dahomey is everyone's homie. <laughs> it's really dumb. I hate it. Uh, but it's a good... it's pretty good. <laughs> so just just don't be hating on my homie and, and we'll be fine, okay? As long as you don't hate on my homie, then... Um, I will heart your comments. Kingdom of Syria has declared war on Dodecanese. Okay, so that means Mersin is gone. And, oh, this is 
This is Dodecanese right here. Oh, Dodecanese, you're still alive. Curious. Yeah, Mercen is trying to sweep it up. Kingdom of Syria is coming in here. They're like trying to get as much as they can before, um, of course, they're going to have to attack Izmir, which they will gain a lot of territory. And that that's actually kind of a nice country shape, too, with just that part of Anatolia and Syria together. It's pretty nice borders. You know, I, I, I'm down for that. And then once this and like Azerbaijan unite, that'd be kind of a cool shape too. But I don't think it'll end up working that way. Like either like uh, Syria or Izmir, whoever wins here, will probably end up going south. Azerbaijan will probably end up going south or east, I would assume. But anyways, boys, that was quite the recap. Um, it is now running, and I'm gonna let it run for a little while so we can get some new updates going. Make sure you write in the comments who you are rooting for and upvote each other's comments. I, I do I forgot I do have to give, give an update here in the new world. Jeez, Kansas uh, built the wall. <laughs> Not quite. It's pretty close. Actually, there's battles happening down here. Kansas City or Texas? I saw a battle. Maybe that was just a glitch. Kansas right now is at war with Yukon. Uh, they built a pretty big wall. It doesn't go all the way down south, but if they take out Mississippi, then it will. <laughs> but boy, look at Texas. Texas has turned things around. I I made a bad call earlier where it kind of looked like they. Uh, we're not going uh, to survive, but they have survived very well, and they have conquered like most of Mexico. <laughs> Pennsylvania, a very strong contender for the entirety of North America. 59 divisions. I did not notice how strong they are. Um, New York, also very strong, 38. Pennsylvania seems to have an edge there, though. Um, Illinois, another big guy at 29. Michigan at 37. Vancouver Island, at only at 7, but I mean, they've got, I guess they have like only 4 states. South America is still pretty broken up, but a couple to point out. Uh, United Guiana, um, pretty cool because they have this whole region united, but then plus the Amazon and then one down here, like this Bolivian state, I think. Uh, so quite the weird shape and a lot of it's unusable, but uh, still pretty big. Uh, and then you've got Para here and Maranhao, I think that's how you would say that. Uh, looking pretty strong in Brazil. And then of course our boy, Uruguay, who is one of my picks now, I think. That is like... 46 divisions, Uruguay. Jeez. With that beautiful flag. I'm going to say it now. I think Uruguay, uh, Dahomey are some of my top picks. But of course, we can't stop without checking in <laughs> on Costas Hermanas. Oh, they changed their name, didn't they? I don't know what that means. It's Coast something. Coast Boys? Hermanas. Coast Sisters. Costas Hermanas. I think that means Coastal Sisters. <laughs> I I'm not sure what that's referring to. Is it like talking about like Panama and Costa Rica as like sister nations? And this is a formable country? I don't know. That's very strange. The Iwo Jima declared war on Guam. Are they building... Are they conquering stuff? Oh, no. That's walkable. I see. So it's walkable between them. And of course, down here in Australia, New South Wales seems to be with Canberra. The uh, capital Sam seems to be the winner down here. Queensland, uh, Northern Territory, and Victoria are still all putting up some resistance, but probably all for naught. Texas has officially annexed that uh, Mexican state it was just at war with, and it is now fighting Mississippi. So rest in peace, Mississippi, or Kansas ambitions in Mississippi. Uh, it also looks like Illinois is at war with Mississippi, so maybe Illinois will get uh, Missouri here. And there's just no defense down here ready for the, the attack from the Texans. All the defenses up here defending from Illinois. This is not good. They will probably capitulate pretty quickly if the Texans are able to just get right into the actual state of Mississippi. Oh, Russian America was able to get Yukon. And then everyone declared war on it. Oh, nice. <laughs> oh my god, look, it's a war with Vancouver Island, Montana, and Kansas. Can it hold them off, these Russian boys? got eight divisions and this is like really hard terrain to fight through yeah i think they'll probably hold them off for a long time and there it went boys that's a huge development okay hold on a sec two actually very big developments kingdom of syria has declared war on izmir <laughs> oh it's not even because Rhodes was killed off it was because izmir cut off Rhodes from syria so they declared war on something new they really screwed themselves over this is all gonna be annexed by syria at some point syria is very very strong Comparatively to Izmir. I guess only 20 divisions, but... And then, yes, this right here is quite the update. East Midlands, a.k.a. I guess Wales, is now at war with the Kingdom of Scotland. Both have very pretty yellow and red flags. 
Scotland looked like it has 19 divisions versus, of course, the um, Welsh or East Midlands, uh, like probably about 50. So 64, my bad, 64 divisions. <laughs> now it'd be cool if East Midlands could get that fleet from Scotland because it doesn't look like they want to build their own fleet. Yeah, they are still not building fleets, but they are building aircraft. So do they have like air superiority right now? They don't. They're not using it. They're missing a lot of guns though. So that, I mean, they're still pushing through. They are in a lot of gun debt right now, which is odd. And they are still losing guns per turn. Uh, all the Canadian states are slowly whittling away. Michigan just got uh, Northern Ontario and Southern Ontario. Bosnia was finally annexed as well by Transdanubia, and now they are attacking Mor Moravia, Morava. Now they are attacking Morava from the back. Morava probably will fall at this point, so it will break the uh, stalemate Albania is currently experiencing. They have 55 division, boys. They have 55 divisions. So they are going to wreak havoc on probably a lot of southern Europe. These battles are looking like they're going pretty good for East Midlands. Scotland putting up, of course, a great fight. <laughs> like they always do against the English. Also, I'd like to point out that the battle for Ireland is still not over. It looks like maybe the battle for uh, Great Britain might be over for, before the Battle of Ireland is. Um, and it's still being fought between, I think this is Munster and Northern Ireland. It would be kind of funny if Northern Ireland won, uh, because that would mean the... <laughs> is, assuming East Midlands wins here too, that would mean the English won <laughs> on both islands. Oh, and look at this, boys. The purple Ukrainian states on oh, our homie declared war in Sierra Leone, rest in peace. Um, but this guy has decided to stab Lvov in the back, and now Bulgaria might have a chance. Um, this guy is moving in. I'm gonna have to learn how to say that probably, or else you guys are gonna get pissed off. <laughs> it's looking like we might have a new player over here, like in uh, India and China. Possibly, they have 21 divisions, Northern Kashmir, looking pretty nice up there. Also, Sichuan l is looking r very strong. Zhejiang is now gone. Um, they quite possibly could unite China. Oh, Pomeran finally broke its stalemate as well. It was able to annex uh, the Danish state it was at war with, and now I'm assuming it's probably going, yeah. It's at war with Scania, and look at that, boys. 71 divisions, that's insane for Pomeran. I don't even think, yeah, Franken's still at 49. Um, Pomeran is the strongest German state by far. We should check on, on uh, Bohemia versus Lithuania as well. Lithuania looking like it's probably lost territory, but still, I mean, not close to capitulating whatsoever. Um, they're at 46, Bohemia uh, 59. So Bohemia seems to be the one that probably will win, but we you never know. You know, Bohemia could get stabbed in the back by someone around them. Transdanubia declared war in Austria. Does that mean that yeah okay so morava morava was annexed was it annexed by yes it seems to have been annexed by albania and or, or greece i'm sorry guys <laughs> greece or slash albania is now going after bulgaria as well as northern transylvania bulgaria had a good run boys <laughs> i think it's done for them they had something nice there for a little while it looks like maybe the greek slash albanians will will get istanbul or constantinople we'll have to see Shall we do a little time lapse here, just what, just in the Bulgarian theater? I think we should. All right, I'm gonna go watch with someone else, and we're gonna sit right here, and we're going to watch this war occur in in real life time, sped up. <laughs>
<laughs> well, boys, a lot changed during that uh, little time lapse here. Let me hold enter for five minutes. All right, boys. As we saw there, the uh, Greater Albanians <laughs> and the Transylvanians. Also, the formed nation Kingdom of Hungary. Welcome, Hungary. Um, attacking Transylvania. We didn't get to see Bulgaria completely die yet, but they are in two pockets now. Um, we were also able to see in that shot the socialist now state of Syria um, sort of work its way towards conquering Western Anatolia. Um, 25 divisions, still not the strongest, but they do have a socialist uh, country now and flag, of course. We saw in that shot the free state of Georgia invade into Crimea and Kherson is now being attacked by the free state of Georgia or George. Um, it's, those borders are not going to look as good anymore, but that's okay. I think we we're also able to see Slovenia actually be the one that annexes Austria, which I'm sure a lot of you are going to be happy about. I think a lot of you are <laughs> rooting for Slovenia there. 44 divisions for them. They are now fighting the Italians, though, who have... Oh, 35. The Slovenians are ahead. That is interesting. What has happened over here? The... Oh my god, how many divisions? 101. That's a lot more than earlier. <laughs> yes, East Midlands, aka Principality of Wales, has encircled four Scottish divisions and is pushing north. They pretty much have the whole Northern England state under their control. Pomern is at war with. They're going up into the ununified Scandinavia, it seems. They've annexed a couple little countries here. They're now going after Norland. Pomern's probably up there as well with the division count. Yeah, they're about 100 as well. Just realized Belgorod is extremely strong. Uh, not as strong as it is, just really big. And Kino of Libya has killed off Tunisia and is working on annexing Egypt. So, oh look at that, Kingdom of Jordan has finally seen victory. Um, also, rest in peace, is this Sinai? Oh, they had a flag and everything. Yeah, Sinai was the one that was looking like it was going to unite Egypt, but greater powers have come and defeated it once and for all. Actually, going into China, not much else has really changed from earlier. Hunan looks like it may have gotten bigger. Um, so Hunan is definitely a challenger to Sichuan. Unitary South Africa. Is that fascist? No, it's not aligned. Okay, I like the flag. Pretty nice. Um, looking pretty good. Dahomey has killed off Sierra Leone. Wow, that was quick. 45 divisions for them. Are they going after Martania? Yes. South America looks kind of the same. Um, Costas Hermanas, aka the Panama Canal, actually has gained ground though in South America, so that's pretty cool. Illinois and Texas are still waiting on Mississippi to die in New Orleans. And Montana is killing off Vancouver Island. You know, I think I'd rather live under Montana than Vancouver Island. So please come liberate me. Please. Oh, look at Michigan. <laughs> Michigan has conquered uh, all of this. 63 divisions. Okay, they're, they're just stuck right here right now. But when it breaks, Michigan will unleash upon the world. <laughs> Anyways, boys, it's been a long recording, about one hour my time. Thank you guys for watching. If you liked this, make sure to hit like, favorite, subscribe if you guys are new. Guys, I really appreciate the support recently, me coming back. If you want to support the channel that you like, that's bringing you videos Monday, Wednesday, Friday, you can check out the Patreon link in the description below. And I'll see you guys all next time. Peace.